Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the definition of the meniscus in chemistry terms. All right, so the meniscus is the shape that a liquid takes when we pour it into a container. So let's look at a beaker here made of glass, and let's take the most basic example, water. And if we poured water in here and we let it settle, the meniscus would have a shape like this. And so we've all seen this before, and this is called a concave meniscus, and this is H2O. Um, and then let's take another example. Let's say we had mercury, pour that in there, let it settle. It would actually form a shape like this, which is called convex. So, why does H2O have a concave meniscus and mercury has a convex meniscus? Well, it all has to do with intermolecular forces. And so, as you notice, both of these beakers are in glass, and glass is made of mostly silicon. So, with water, water is interested in having intermolecular forces with silicon. So it reaches up the side kind of as much as gravity will allow so that you can have all this extra interaction between water and the glass. But mercury is not interested in making those connections with silicon. It's not attracted to it. It'd rather be bonded to itself. So it will avoid the glass as much as possible by creating a little convex bubble here and being only with itself. And so that's why you have the differences in shape. But this is both for glass, and let's check out what happens if we have a plastic guy. So let's have water again. We put it into plastic, and it will actually create a completely flat meniscus. So uh, water is neither attracted to plastic nor repelled by it, so it just sits right there. And so one last thing about meniscuses is we have to know where we're going to measure our liquid level in. So let's say we are gonna you know, measure out 10 milliliters of water. Are we going to take the 10 milliliters to be here at the top or here at the bottom or somewhere in between? And the answer is scientists have all decided that we're going to be taking it right at the middle. So for water, it's at the bottom. So we would count our water level at whatever the beaker was right here. And for mercury, a uh, convex meniscus, it's also right in the middle. So we're going to have our water level, or mercury level in this case, right here, so at the top. And then if it's flat, it's obviously just wherever it ends. And that's how you read the meniscuses. So I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been What is the Meniscus Definition in Chemistry?